Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We're back again and oh my lord, it has been a long time for me since I've last recorded. You may be wondering why and it's because I had COVID. <laughs> I've had COVID for the past, um, I think this is my fifth day. This is like the first day that I'm feeling okay again. Um, so I'm recording. Luckily I had a healthy backlog of Isaac videos, so... I don't know why I used that there. So you guys haven't missed out on any of your regular Isaac content. Although you may have missed out on a few of the other series. I think I didn't upload Half-Life and some of the uh, some of the other series here and there. But, 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 that doesn't matter too much for you guys. Because that's like two weeks ago at this point. But yeah, simple, simple little question of the day. Um, how how did you lot cope with a uh, cope with the whole COVID thing? Of course, it is still going on, as uh, as you can tell, because I just got it. Luckily, it didn't affect me too bad. I'm like fully vaccinated and everything. But I know some other people had some harder times with it. I do apologise if it's a little bit of a a touchy subject. I'm sure some of you have had some uh, not so great times with it, and. Hopefully you're getting through okay, but yeah, just uh, how, how has it kind of been affecting you? And I don't just mean in terms of people you know getting it, I mean just in terms of like where you live day to day life. I know some people like uh, never named uh, my friend over in New Zealand really wasn't affected all that bad because New Zealand did a pretty damn good job of locking down and uh, making sure that people didn't get sick, whereas the UK did a... A pretty terrible job, really, of, um, <laughs> of it all and kind of just let... COVID run wild. At the minute, the government seem to have the idea of don't worry about it. Just don't wear a mask or any or use any precautions. Just even if you get COVID, just go out, like live your normal life, which to me seems a bit crazy. Um, I've got to say, ooh, bomb bag's actually pretty decent. Um, also, we might as well grab this. Yeah, um... <laughs> It's, uh, it's been a bit of a crazy one. It really has. Uh, we can go in here. Of course, it's a little risky. Unfortunately, that's not really what we're looking for. Uh, I'll go and pick up my other coins before I do anything more. Um, yeah, like, it's kind of a good idea in a way, because, like, once everyone's exposed to it and had it, there's going to be a lot less likelihood of people getting it again. Um, and people are going to build up their, like, immunities to it. But it's still kind of a crazy, uh, crazy idea to just be like, Yo, just everyone get it. <laughs> I actually ended up getting it because... Should we open this? Yeah, we will. Um, oh, we got a mini Isaac out of that as well. I actually ended up getting it because I went out uh, with a friend for their birthday. And unfortunately, some... I I'm not 100% sure of this, so I apologize to this person if this isn't the case. But some weird dude was like... There was like 10 of us there, and it, like I said, it was a birthday party, it was all of, um, it was some, some of my girlfriend works with, so it was all of the workmates there, then me and a few other people, like boyfriends and girlfriends sort of thing. Um, so there was quite a lot of us, and we're at this like club place where basically you're allowed to like dance upon the tables and stuff, and we're all like dancing and everything, uh, and this dude just would not, this guy that we don't know by the way at all, just would not leave us alone. He just wouldn't go away. Oh, car battery would be so good. Um, he just wouldn't leave us alone. He just wouldn't go away. Uh, and I I am very, very confident it was that person that gave me COVID. Because they were standing next to me for a long time. And obviously, like, singing next to me. So, yeah. Obviously, it could have been any number of people. There was a lot of people at this club that we were at. And just a lot of people out in general. So I can't really say for certain it's that guy, but just based on the fact that he was a weirdo and I didn't like him being near us, I'm just going to blame it on him. Also, just another thing. Why are people like that? <laughs> like, why? I don't want to be too judgmental here, but why would you go to a club on your own or presumably with a party that, you've, that they have left or you've left them? Um, ooh, nice, okay. Uh, and and then just go and pretty much harass a random group of people that you don't know. Like, so they're like big long tables. Think like think like school di dining room tables, like big big long tables. Um, and uh, you you can stand up on them and dance. And we're all lined up on them. And he just jumped up on the table next to us and was like aggressively dancing at us, but also like copying all of our actions like whenever we danced like what whatever dance moves we were doing he was also doing 
Um, so yeah, it was it was not so great. It was not so great. Right. Boom. Boom. Uh, four. Five. Six. We got our angel payout. Unfortunately, the mata obviously isn't very good. It's it's one of the, the lower tiered ones, I'd say. There's a seven. It's one of the lower tier payouts, I'd say. But anyway, we got it. We have it now, so there you go. I'm just going to pop this straight away in here. I really hope they uh, eventually fix that issue with uh, using the tower card in these L-shaped rooms where it just spawns them all at the crook of the L because it's technically the center of the room because it treats it like a, a huge room and so it just spawns them all in the same place. But so far, good run, good run. But yeah, I, I just, like, I, I get people are out and they're drunk and they're not really thinking or acting like they normally would, but it's still like, we're having, we're having a nice time for someone's birthday. Please leave us alone. This is, yeah, that was kind of horrible. I was like, I'm having a nice time for someone's birthday. Please go away. <laughs> like, we don't know you. <laughs> That's just generally something I find very odd in terms of the disparity. Ooh, one, one second, guys. One second. Uh, I just need to quickly check my audio settings here because my mic looks to be a little low. Um, sorry, wrong thing. It's going to take me just a hot second here. Like I said, I haven't recorded in quite some time, so... Device properties. Oh no, we're good, we're good. I just thought uh, my mic sounded a little low, but it seems okay. Um, but that's that's just a weird thing in general, like... Oh, we don't have a key. Uh, between, like, America and the UK. I know it's not like, like this everywhere. I'm not saying that every single state in America or every single city or whatever is going to be like this. But, like, people have no shame. <laughs> people have, like, no self-awareness of how cringy they're being. Like, you see so many videos online of, like teachers doing like a a singer oh my god we might die in this room um we might be okay actually i should really be trying to use montezuma's revenge here it is a very powerful tool that we have right now um okay i'm very glad that i kept this penny in here hopefully we can actually get ourselves a, a key here soon okay that works out um yeah and you'll see, you'll see like videos online of like teachers standing up in the middle of a classroom and like doing a song and dance or like a a, a rap about a, it's like what are you doing like people are filming this <laughs> have some self-awareness of how cringy you are i don't think that's ever happened ever in any school in, in the entirety of the uk because the teachers are like hell no we're not going to be that cringe what the hell really Really? Do you know what? I fucking hate this. No. Damn straight you're giving me spoon bender, you stupid game. Right, give... What's it called again? Wooden... Nickel. You might think that's super cheaty, and it kind of is, but also, I think that is some premium bullshit when that happens. It's happened a few times to me before. I generally am not a fan of the, uh, of the old, of the old, uh, what they're called, mimics, um, Wheel of Fortune, whatever. I'm not a fan of the old, um, okay, we need to get Montezuma's Revenge going here. I accidentally picked up the coin, fuck. Um, yeah, generally, I'm not a, a very big fan of the old, uh, the old pedestal mimics, but when that happens specifically, nah, I just spent all my money, all my money on rerolls that I perfectly well deserved. What? Like, no. <laughs> just, no. I'm not having that. I got myself, and the thing is as well, like, I don't know if it would have rerolled the spoon bender had we used the thing, but I I was owed at least one reroll, probably three or four. So I'm gonna say it's fair play because I don't think that's the way that should work. It's not my it's not my idea of it being in the ideal place. 
so I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm 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 gonna change the odds to work in my favor. <laughs> I've said it quite a lot before though, how um how I I like to tweak with mods and, and change things to, to be balanced the way I like them. And sometimes that's gonna be in my favor, and maybe in some people's opinion it's gonna be a bit too good or a bit too strong. Um but especially in situations like that, that there's a very like at least for my eyes, there might be something I'm missing, but there isn't a clear visual tell when there's a when it's a mimic. Because originally, I thought the the visual tell was that the item didn't bob up and down, um, like it didn't do the little animation. But I swear that one was. I mean, you can go back and check the footage and, and prove me wrong, because I almost certainly am. But there was no from from my eyes, there was no visual tell and. It just made me waste a bunch of money, and at the end of the day, I don't really want to waste a bunch of money. Yeah. I would, I would rather not, thank you. That monsoon's revenge there. I actually did try to hit the fat bat and just failed so miserably. I'm trying to uh, stockpile for the uh, for the sack room. If you haven't figured that out already, by the way. Sack rooms as the keeper are just so good. <laughs> it's a little annoying that that penny's right in the way of the door because I'm going to have to pick it up. But we got another one in return, so I don't mind too much. I just need to make sure I'm a little further away from the door. We can probably pick this one up straight away just so we can go into our shop and take a little goosey gander. A little goosey gander. Uh, Broken Murdom is top tier. We'll grab that. And grab that as well. Blank card is nice, but obviously we can't really make good use of it. So let's go. Let's start going to play our sack room and see where we sit. I think we're a few pennies off of uh, being in the clear here. So it depends how many we get from actually doing it itself. So there's one, two, three, four. Okay, we're actually pretty much in the clear here. Four. And then this will be five and six. Five. Six. Monstrance. Rather nice. And then this will be seven. Sadly, no item on the seven foot. We've already got two angel items from doing this. So I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy, pretty chuffed so far. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Unfortunately, neither of those really fit into our playstyle right now. Or what, what we have available to us, should I say, more so than our playstyle itself. Whoa, I was like, what the hell's going on with all these enemies? And I realized we've got broken modem. I was very confused from him there. Like, what, what, what's broken? What happened? <laughs> like, oh wait, no, it's not broken. That's exactly how it's meant to work. Right. Let's pick up the coins now. See what we got in here. We got this room again, unfortunately. I do actually quite like Eyesaw, so I'm just going to take it. I think Eyesaw is pretty good, especially with Herming. Actually, I didn't even think about that. With Herming, Eyesaw is very good. Well, let's make our way to the boss then. We still need a damage up. Uh, damage up would be very, very nice. We're uh, sitting a little low on the damage front right now. Or a fire rate up. Well, just a DPS up in general would be good. Do you know what? I've just realized we should maybe uh, head back this way and try and actually find our uh, secret rooms here. We've got plenty of opportunity to do so. I will not be taking any pills right now. The tier rate down would be absolutely devastating. Uh, da, 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 da. So it's not there, not there. Okay, so it's not there either. Okay, this is kind of a tough one. It could be down from here or up from here, I think. Yeah, I think it's up, personally. Yeah, there you go. Hello, sir. I suppose Montezuma's Revenge is kind of like a damage up. Like, it's it's not an actual one that affects our stats in any way, but we are able to put out more DPS as a, as a cause of it. The only unfortunate thing is it is quite hard to aim. <laughs> I do kind of like, I find it funny that we have the Rotten Pork Chop as well. So we have the Mo Montezuma's Revenge for the Diarrhea, and then the, the Rotten Pork Chop for the Farts. We're really getting involved with the, the poopy nature of Isaac right now. Okay, nice. We've got plenty of bombs to work with here, so... 
use them as we must. PJs, unfortunately, is almost completely worthless for us. Um, bit of a shame. Makes us look like an absolute cutie, but other than that, really not what we're looking for. Either way, let's uh, let's push forward. And again, we're going to obviously stockpile some pennies and see if we can get another sack room play. Unlikely to get another one, I'll be honest. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That was a little scary. Uh, unlikely to get another play, I'll be honest. Uh, do you know what? I'll pop out down and blow it up. But you, you, honestly, you never really know with sack rooms. I, at least I don't think there's any rhyme or reason as to how they spawn. I think they can. you can get multiple in a row if you're lucky. I think Broken Murdom is actually super good with Monsterance. It's not really uh, a synergy I considered. Even even Montezuma's Revenge has somewhat synergizing uh, effects with it because we're getting that extra ability to kill an enemy while it's frozen. Okay. Uh, this is going to be some, some pretty bad fire rate. Do you know what? This is a fantastic room here. <laughs> Got the damage and the fire rate up. Yeah, going to have some pretty bad fire rate now. But... Oh, God. That is... That is fire rate right, that, that, uh, I'm gonna have to grab that. I hate it, but I need the fire rate. Right. I also don't remember how to do this room. Okay. Um, I got saved a little bit then. Dude, Broken Burdom's kind of screwing me here. Um, don't really care about that. Yeah, I needed guillotine. The damage is good, the fire rate right is just so important and i realize every single bloody time i take guillotine i regret it every single damn time but i feel like this is potentially the exception which you already know it isn't because i'm still gonna hit it <laughs> it's still gonna get me hit but we needed it like our fire rate is still atomically bad oh god we need, like, two or three pretty big fire rate ups ASAP. I, I, I'm, I'm definitely erring on the side of no sack room on this floor, but let's keep it going nonetheless. Ah, oh, this fire rate. Oh, I haven't had fire rate this bad in a long while. Ooh, okay, we've got a double tinted rock here, which uh, kind of works out in our favor. So let's uh, push these over here. Make sure we get all the value we can. And there is a horse pill there as well. I'm not super interested in grabbing that. Because if it's a tears down, I'll actually kill myself. No, I won't. But I would cry quite heavily. Ooh, a speed up is quite nice here. Uh, unfortunately, of course, we've already got small rock. So the double tinted rock isn't actually all that good. I will say the speed up is incredibly nice, though. Just incredibly so. What's that? Is that compost? Yeah, okay, so that's a resprite of compost. I did actually get another resprite mod recently. Um, I've been kind of grabbing resprite mods and then picking apart, like, what I like about them. So, like, I'll I'll just pick out the sprites that I like and then mix them into my own pack. Uh, I might make the pack available at some point, but I, I'd rather people go and download the mods for themselves and actually give the, uh, the original authors the sort of credit they deserve. Um... But I could, I could at least share sort of the mix that I use if people are really interested. Because I do grab from quite a few different resprite mods. Like, I don't know how many. It's, it's, it's like six, seven, eight, something like that. Um, and I, all of them are like, basically none of them are in full. All of them I take pieces from. Over range of that. We, we're getting pretty unlucky with our items now i think our first few items obviously spoon bender quad shot uh, especially car battery very good but the last half pj's guillotine mum's underwear all not quite what we're looking for really all airing on the side of meh even quad shot, I'd say, is not good. <laughs> like, our fire rate has become so bad, I don't actually think it was worth picking up quad shot. I think it was a, a pretty terrible idea. Yeah, I just want to say, this is a bad room for me. We do indeed have a sack room, which is rather nice. Of course, we are going to have to actually 
somehow make that work. Which doesn't help when we fail all of our checks of our uh, spacebar item. It's very annoying when we get no pennies at all. I realise there is still a 25% chance to get no pennies, but it still does feel like a rip-off when you have car battery and it doesn't pay out. You're like, excuse me, what do I even have car battery for if I can't get payouts? Now that's what we're looking for. Now when we actually hit an enemy, the, the, the like, onslaught is, is quite heavy. <laughs> Yeah, we can, we can crack that up, and mainly because we're going to, just about to say, get a bunch of money here. Some from the chest itself, and then obviously the rest from actually being able to use multiple charges of our active. Oh my god. I'm trying to use uh, Monstrance as much as possible here as well. Okay, so I don't think we quite have enough yet it it, de it it depends on if the sack room ends up paying out uh with pennies if it doesn't i don't think we quite have enough be careful of those spikes there right one so they didn't pay out there two did pay out there three then grab and grab so we're on, I think, three players so far. This will be our fourth. Fourth player. Fifth player. Okay. A little bit scary doing this, but half of the course we're keeping, isn't it? So I think I think this will be our sixth and seventh player, which are basically the two that matter. Six. We got our angel deal again, and we we definitely want to take holy mantle here, right? And we did get our item, and we got revelation. Awesome. Okay, 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 okay. We we are we are in a very good spot now, mainly because revelation gives us a huge, and I mean huge out. Because now we have an attack that is completely, completely separate from our fire rate. And with Herming, it's going to be very strong. So we now no longer... I still would like fire rate ups because the charge time on Revelation isn't exactly short. But we now no longer have the same concerns as we had prior. They have been relieved. And I like that. I like that quite a bit. Also, Herming Revelation is just awesome. I didn't actually... I've not actually been able to check. I don't think Montezuma's Revenge gets any effect from Herming, unfortunately. It'd be kind of interesting to see if it did. Okay, so unfortunately, this is another item that just really doesn't matter to us again. We're getting a lot of those at the minute. It's a little sad to see. It's, it is funny how we're firing, like, one beam out of our face and then another beam out of our butt. <laughs> The two of those in tandem is quite nice. But yeah, being able to play this many um, this many sack rooms and then them working out for us the way that they have so far. Gotta say, that's pretty top. Uh, oh, I've just come all the way back this way. Because for some reason, my brain thought the curse room was actually the boss room. And turns out we haven't actually found the boss room yet. So we're heading all the way back again. All the way back. But yeah, for those of you wondering how I'm doing in terms of, like, how, how I was with COVID, I actually wasn't terrible. I, of course, I was off work. I was basically just laid up on the sofa for a, for a, good, uh, a good while watching TV. And I actually took the time to... I was like... Because I had an excuse to just sit and play a game. Um, or, like, sit and watch a series. So I, I got back to watching... Arrested Development again, because I haven't watched that in a little while. So I watched Arrested Development again, I'm most of the way through that. But more importantly, I started playing Revita, which is a very, very good game. Uh, of course, under the high, high recommendation of uh, Alexa. He, he is a, a big... What the hell's the boss room? Okay. He's a big proponent of sort of advertising and saying how good that game is and i've got to agree with him it's 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 a very very good game i've got about 16 17 hours in it so far i did play it a hell of a lot over the past three or four days um and 
I would say it's a very, very, very good roguelike. It definitely has some some pretty serious issues, in my opinion, uh, that could that could use a fix. Um, the main, I won't even say a fix, but like a change. The main one being, um, ooh, we got a red rune here. I'm gonna try and blow up these spike rods here because I do not like them being about. Uh, the main one being, uh, unfortunately, the game only has one boss per floor. Like it doesn't have like three or four different bosses that can show up, uh, which makes, like, the boss fights sp specifically incredibly stale very quickly, um, which is obviously a big shame. Uh, and that's, that's basically the biggest issue I have. Other than that, there's a few smaller issues I have. One of them, the game suggests that you play on controller, and I was playing via my Steam link, so I had to play on controller. But then yesterday, when I was finally good enough to actually get up and go on play on my PC, I played on keyboard and mouse, and oh my god, I have literally no idea why anyone would play that game on controller. It was horrible. Like, I, I was playing it, and I thought it was mostly okay. I didn't really think much of it. And then, um... Obviously, we can't. We can't do anything with that. Uh, and and then I, I played it on keyboard, and I'm like, oh my god, this was just awful. The, uh, the, none of the controls make sense. They're really clunky. They're really awkward. Like they don't mesh very well. Uh, I just I, I didn't I didn't like it at all. I, I realized I'd been playing so like reserved on controller, like hiding in corners and not moving or dashing much because the controls were clunky. I get on PC and I'm like diving around like a mad lad, dashing through all the enemies taking advantage of basically every little thing that I can, and I just wasn't playing like that in any way, shape, or form um, when I was playing on a controller. So that was another big one. And then the, probably the third sort of big issue, and by the way, I know I'm talking about the issues here. There is a lot of good about the game. It's not just issues. I just thought I'd point out the issues that I had first. Um, and like another one of the issues is the game has this sort of interesting system where there's like different unlockable weapons. I think there's your default one and then there's six alternates that you can choose. There's like an SMG, a shotgun. So you start with a pistol and then there's an SMG, a shotgun, um, and then there's all... What else is there? There's... Um, trying to think of what else there is. There's a charge gun that like increases in fire rate the longer you stand still. There's a laser gun, there's a, a rocket launcher, and while it's interesting to have them, specifically the charge gun, the rocket launcher, and the laser gun are just AIDS. They're just horrible. <laughs> like, especially the charge gun. So, the game makes a very big point out of, like, movement being important, dashing around, running around enemies, jumping over them, and then they give you a gun where it's like, it has a fire rate of one bullet a second. It's incredibly slow, unless you stand still. If you stand still, it gets to the point where it's incredibly powerful, which makes it kind of necessary to utilize that feature of it. You can't really play without utilizing it. But the game just isn't made for standing still at all. <laughs> like, especially there's a, there's a boss on the third floor. So all the bosses are based on like, based on like sins and stuff. So. I think it's the stages of grief, actually. So there's, like, denial, depression, all them sort of things. And the, the depression boss, you literally cannot stand still for more than a second. You just can't. It doesn't work. It, the game just does not allow you to do so. So basically, you have to dive around the entire arena, dodging the boss, trying to kill it. But you can only fire, like, a bullet a second. <laughs> and it just means that you're incredibly weak. And it takes a really long time to beat him. Whereas with any other character, it'd be like... I don't know, it's not def it's definitely not an easy boss, but you could defeat it in a nice, timely manner. Whereas when you're playing with a charge gun, nah. Nah, you're stuck in there for life. But on the other side of things, like I said, there is a ton about the game that I absolutely love. Mainly, it's risk-reward systems, which, as any of you that have watched Alexa play it, or any of you that have played the game yourself, the game is a risk-reward. Like, think of the devil deals in Binding of Isaac. Literally, the entire game is that. Every single thing in the entire game that you do costs you HP. All the shops cost HP. All the altars you go to cost HP. Removing curses costs HP. Everything costs HP. And I love that. It makes for a very intriguing system. Um, and then, in sort of a, like, 
Hollow Knight-esque fashion. Um, you you have like a soul meter and you gain soul from killing enemies and you can heal using that soul and you can even heal over your maximum hp to give yourself new heart containers which is a very interesting thing and then between floors you can trade away heart containers in order to um in order to like upgrade your items so most of the things that cost hp just take away temporary hp they don't take away permanent hp what the hell why is this dice shard an uno card interesting um it's not anymore but it wasn't the floor for some reason um yeah so it uh it takes away your temporary hp and you can just heal up but in between floors you can actually trade away permanent hp in order to upgrade the items you already have to give so sort of ones that give like stat boosts can give higher stat boosts some items give like slightly bigger benefits and effects and i think that's a really cool system not many um not many games have the sort of upgrade the items you already have systems and then adding adding a, an even more punishing version of risk reward to a game that's based entirely around risk reward is just intriguing to me another book the book of sin um and then we'll do that and then we'll dice shard this bad boy we've got Ink C. It's an active item. Converts all hearts in the room into butt bombs. Converts all cards in the room into God's flesh, blood, tears. Converts all chained gibbs to babies and fart. Unfortunately, that is a truly, truly disappointing um, glitched item. But there you go. <laughs> yeah, and... In fact, uh, of course, those of you that uh, that know about it or have listened to it, me and BD1P have got a podcast where we uh, chat about indie gaming, but also we tend to try and interview different game developers. Of course, we interviewed Kilburn in our most recent episode uh, with the help of Alexa. And uh, Ben Starr, the creator of Revita, is kind of the next person on our list because both me and BD1P have recently started playing Revita. And on top of that, Revita's 1.0, like, official coming out of Early Access patch is coming next month. So we'd like to uh, get in just before that hits. And I think it could be quite fun. And yeah, I'm really glad that I, uh, that, that I, I'm not glad that I got COVID, but I'm glad that I got COVID because it gave me the, the chance to play the game. Because it was one of those games where it was kind of just sitting in my library waiting to be played. And I'd never really sort of got the time or reason to like start it up and actually get into it. But being stuck on the sofa for five days gave me that. Ooh, I like this. The apple of pride. Got that apple of pride. Oh, okay. Luckily that only hit my holy mantle, but I'm still likely to... Likely to lose the apple here. Mainly because I have, uh, what's it called? Guillotine, and I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, we're actually okay. We're actually okay. We got perfection, which is definitely a grab. We've now got two things in which we can't get hit for, but we do have Holy Mantle, so our chances of getting hit, at least early on here, are pretty low. As the time goes on, it might it might become more and more, uh, more and more likely, I'd, I'd assume, but for now, we're probably going to be sitting reasonably pretty here. Okay. And also, we, we, we're very strong right now <laughs> we're able to walk into rooms and just annihilate everything with revelation which is always fun it is always fun and this is our 10th win as well it looks very likely we'll get the win you never really can say for sure as the keeper like i don't want to say 100 percent certainly that we're gonna get the win just because the keeper you can die in a single room but i'm reasonably confident that we can get it reasonably confident. I think we're going the right way towards the boss here as well. I don't think we're too far off. This is a room that scares me. Okay, we're good. It was more so scary of losing my stat upgrade and my perfection than actually dying, but still. 
This is a boss that's also not great for us. Yeah, please stop. Okay, I thought we were going the right way. Obviously, I was very incorrect. Almost always the case that you have to go through the big room. I should have known that. It's not, like, guaranteed, but... This is a room that I can see myself getting hit a good amount in. Just because the ghosts can kind of tell a Fraggy. And they can just sometimes not show up for a while. But luckily, we got them. Okay, that was potentially an annoying room, so good to get that one cleared up. Death? I mean, death's a decent card to carry, just in case we get a kind of annoying room like this one. I don't like these enemies. No, I, I wouldn't say I don't like them. I just don't think they should appear on this floor. I think they're actually a pretty cool enemy for uh, Ash Pit. Right. Fire is obviously still kind of a primary concern for us in terms of our actual firing, but we're doing okay. I'm kind of relying solely on Revelation to carry us there. I don't... Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think we're going to end up keeping our uh, our stat boost throughout this fight, I'll be honest. Just because there's a lot of factors going on right now. And mainly one being, I've got guillotine, and I get hit whenever I've got guillotine. And also the Revelations charge is like just long enough to kind of screw me over and not let me get two full charges into him while he's doing this attack. If I could get two full charges in, this would have been gone a lot quicker. This should be him dead. We actually did manage to keep our stats in perfection. I was really hoping we'd keep perfection for this next floor because it should mean quite a lot of chests come our way. The longer we can keep it, the better, of course. We've got Linger Bean, which is whatever. The Bean, which is whatever. Glass Cannon, you say? Hmm. I do wonder... Cause just because we're not really dropping coins at the minute. Glass Cannon with Herming and the amount of damage we have right now might be a top top quality one for us to uh, mess around with. I quite like gla the, the, the reworked Glass Cannon. I think they did a very good job of uh, making it into a much, much more usable item. Because it, it went from, on its first implementation, it was ridiculously overpowered. Because it only affected Red Health, not Soul Hearts. And then when they updated it to affect Soul Hearts, it became ridiculously underpowered because it was basically unusable. Um, and now it's fallen into a nice place of its niche. You've probably got to be pretty good at the game to want to use it for a full run. Um, if you don't have a, like, a way of definitely getting rid of it early, you probably don't want to use it. But players such as myself, anyone that's got a good amount of time in the game is probably going to want to give it a go. And as you can see, it's proving to be it's proving to be pretty useful for us right now. Unfortunately, rooms like this make it a little less uh, usable. Yes, you gone, and you gone as well, I guess. Shoop the whoop. Do you know? <sighs> Shoop the whoop's potentially better, but I actually maybe don't think so. I think for the boss, shoot the loops better. I don't know, maybe shoot the loops is just better in general. Akeldama. Yeah, I'm gonna try shoot the loop. I think shoot the loop might be better in general, just because it does a lot more damage. But you can only use it once per room. And even then, that didn't feel like all that much damage then, did it? <laughs> Yeah, maybe not, maybe not. Let's uh, let's grab back the glass cannon. Yeah. Good on this room. That is a Dom mimic right there, if I haven't seen one. Odd mushroom. That's a huge tears up. We need that. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Back to having a real tier rate. What a blessing.
Yeah, I think as well, something I didn't consider is Glass Cannon adopts our tier effects, which is significantly better. Hammer undies. Hey, little Bumbino. Money equals power is pretty good for us here. Pretty big damager. Okay. <laughs> Trying to play reasonably reserved here, just because I don't want to lose my holy mantle. But at the same time, I do want to get in there and get my shots off. Okay, we're good. Nice. Nice little win there. Pretty easy run overall and a nice introduction back into Isaac for myself. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.